An urban wetland being built in Gardens by the Bay will be twice as large as what had originally been planned. Scientists have found that mangroves uh, in that environment can capture more carbon compared to natural ecosystems, useful for fighting climate change. The wetland is part of the development of Bay East Garden to be completed in 2027. Rebecca Mateo tells us more. This biophilic pond will be the centerpiece of the future zone in Bay East Garden. The original plan already included a mangrove and freshwater swarm along its fringes. Now builders have decided to extend the mangroves all along the pond into other parts of the zone, such as a rain garden. Usually, mangroves only thrive in salt water, but a study at Kingfisher Wetlands in Gardens by the Bay found some species that did well in its artificial freshwater conditions. This includes some critically endangered mangroves. In the natural environment, they, there's a high tide, low tide, so it, it moves. Uh, but, but in a freshwater environment, um, uh, it doesn't do that. But the more important point is that the carbon content uh, from these freshwater mangroves uh, actually increase over the monitoring period. This means man-made wetlands can potentially be used to capture carbon in cities. They may also increase biodiversity as some locally endangered and vulnerable species were seen during the study. I'm pretty hopeful that we can scale it up, but it also comes to you know, the fact that once again in Singapore, we have a lot of you know, decisions to make about how we use our land. The wetland habitat is part of the attraction's sustainability efforts. It is also introducing a nature tour specially for those with special needs.